Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number five. Let's see what do we have for today. What did she write today? Here's what we have. Let's erase this area so we can put some pictures here. We have a triangle that looks like that. And the question simply is, which quantity is bigger? Area of ABC or twenty four. This is a typical problem that appears appears in the GRE under what is known as quantitative comparison. Quantitative comparison is so called because you, uh, your job is to compare the two quantities, the two quantities that are given in the two columns, column A and column B, which quantity is bigger. And many a times I have seen people get a wrong answer on this problem and I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. There are two reasons why people, those people who get this question wrong, there are two kinds of those people who, of all the people who get this question wrong, there are two categories of those, because they get the question wrong for one of those two reasons. And I'm going to explain both of them in a second. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, or work on this problem on your own, and once you have the answer, resume the video, okay? I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds. That was it. Let's solve it together. How do you find the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is one half base times height. One half base times height. And what does height mean? Well, height means exactly what it says. It's the, the height means you have to find out how high the thing is. How high the thing is. How high is this thing? Well, how high this thing is depends on how high the highest point is on the picture. To find out how high something is, you take the highest point in that picture, whatever the highest point happens to be, and you ask yourself how high is that point from the base. This is the base. This dotted line here is the base because this is where it is. So this distance here from C to, let's call it D here, that we come up with, the C to D is the height here. The height is CD. The height is not B to C. B to C is not the height because that A is sitting at an angle, it's slanted. The height is the straight dis perpendicular distance from the highest point to the base. That's what's called height. Do we know what that distance is from C to D? The answer is no, we do not know what the height is. Therefore, a lot of the times people say, well, since I do not know the height, I cannot figure out the area. And if I cannot figure out the area, how can I compare it with 24? And they say, therefore, the answer is D. For those of you who are familiar with quantitative comparison questions, there are four answer choices, A, B, C, and D. You have to pick answer choice A if the quantity in column A is bigger, B if the quantity in column B is bigger, C if the two quantities are equal, and D if you cannot tell. So these people will tell you that since we cannot figure out the area of the triangle, and therefore we cannot compare it with 24. How do we know if we do not know what the area of the, area of the triangle is? Which we do not know because we do not know, we are not told how, how much is the height. And if I don't know the height, I cannot calculate the area of the triangle. And if I cannot calculate the area of the triangle, how can I tell whether or not it's equal to or smaller than or bigger than 24? And they said, therefore the answer is D. 
Unfortunately, alas, they are wrong. The answer is not D. The other kind of people who, this, who get this question wrong are the people who are in a very much of a hurry. In haste, they simply go one half, one half base, which is three times height, and they think that this is the height eight. Oh, 24. That should not have been 24. That should have been 48. No, nope, that should not have been 48 either. 24, that should have been 12. Yep. But good news is at least I'm awake. No, I did not say wide awake, I just said awake. Alright? So that quantity was 12. So they do this one half base, which is 3, they think the height is 8. So 3 times 8 is 24, the half of that is 12. And they compare it with this 12 and they think the answer is C. And of course they are wrong. Of course they are wrong because as I explained already, the height here is not 8. Height is from C to D which is a much shorter distance coming straight down vertically, coming straight down perpendicular, that is, perpendicularly, that is, is much shorter. Perpendicular. And of course, I just use it as an adverb, coming down, coming straight down perpendicularly, perpendicularly, coming down straight, coming straight down on a perpendicular. That distance can be shorter than coming at an angle. If this distance from here to here is 8, then whatever that distance is from C to D is less than 8. The question is, how do I write it? How do I make a note of it in the exam for my notes, as my scratch work? How do I write that this distance from C to D is less than 8? This is how we do it. We write down 8 with a little negative sign on top of it. That tells me that this height, whatever it is, we know for a fact that whatever it is, has to be less than 8. I do not know what it is, but whatever the hell it is, it's got to be less than 8. And therefore, the area of this triangle, so these two answers were wrong. C and D are the wrong answers. Therefore, the area of this triangle, the area of the triangle ABC, this triangle ABC is one half base, which is three times high, which is less than eight, and therefore the area of this whole thing, whatever it is, is less than twelve. We do not know what it is, but whatever it is, it's got to be less than twelve. And since on the other side we have a quantity of twelve, something less than twelve has got to be less less than something smaller than twelve. It's got to be less than twelve. I was about to say. I was about to say something less than 12, it's got to be less than 12, but that sounds tautological. There you go, therefore the answer is B. Voila, that was the correct answer. If you do not know what tautology means, as I always say, it does not hurt to expand one's vocabulary. What I was about to say was, something less than 12 has to be less than 12. But that's axiomatic. That's axiomatic. And of course, therefore I had to rephrase the sentence. And of course what I said again in the, in the rephrase structure is still axiomatic, but it doesn't sound as ridiculous. So instead of saying something less than has to be less than 12, what I said is something smaller than 12 has to be less than 12. Anyway, let's learn this word axiomatic and tautology before we call it a day. I have to find A. And where would A be? It's better be before before B. Axiomatic. There we go. 38. And did we learn the word topology? I am sure we did. Because same day, 38. It stands to reason because I just used them as synonyms, didn't I? So therefore, they, they were covered on the same day. So if you want to learn these two words properly, axiomatic and tautology, type in Kishwani prep dash vocab dash day 38. Learn these two words properly. It does not hurt to expand one's vocabulary, even when one is dealing with a math problem. Do you understand? Anyway, that was the end of my sermon. Amen.
If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor for GRE, GMAT, SAT and TOEFL. Go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprev.com and you can send me an email from there as well. And I will do whatever it is that I can to help you out. Alright, thank you.